morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Hey, how's everybody doing? Are you guys doing the February Spring Into Weight Loss BBB at Challenge? Today is a lean meats day. You can have fowl, fish, shellfish, lean pork, eggs, um, and keep your fats lower. Now this is the day if you don't want to do total B, 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 and E, you can do keto with this. You can have a few vegetables, um, keep your fats low. You can add a keto chow today and take a walk. Otherwise you can do just a lean meat B, 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 E day, which is what Harry and I are doing. You guys, man, I forgot to add the mustard and let me tell you, Harry was so upset, he called me up and bawled me out. So man, was I in trouble. Um, yes, you can add mustard, you can add your note. Matter of fact, I think I'll do that right now. Just so everybody knows, plus mustard. <laughs> yeah, you, you know it. Got it in writing. There, Harry <laughs> has it in writing. He looked at her and goes, where's the mustard? He goes, what am I supposed to do? I can't have my hamburger without anything on it. He just went off and I was like, you know, that's a good point because I would like some mustard too. So you guys, if you need mustard, like we need mustard, please add the mustard. For those of you that are hardcore BBBE, God bless you because we need our mustard. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Yes, I do. Hey, you guys, have you seen? Ah, we were very busy last night, very, very busy. Someone got into our accounts and hacked us, our, our email, our, our uh, personal stuff, and they posed as us as our admin. We've dealt with it, we've got all of our passwords are changed. We, uh, YouTube was not there that late at night. Harry's gonna call them. We tried to delete as many as possible. For those of you who thought you won, I totally apologize. You sent me emails, I explained what was going on. We, for this challenge, this giveaway, the only way you're going to know if you have won, either on our Loving It on Keto with Wendy fans or the giveaway every day is you're gonna to have to look and see the video and see the actual names on, and I will call out the names, the winners, on our video. That's the only way we can ensure that we're not hit with more spam. Evidently, this particular spam hit a lot of folks in the keto community with giveaways, and it's it's ran rampant, and it, um, can cause a lot of, of, you know, when you think you've won something and you haven't, that's disappointment. And we aren't here to disappoint you. We want to give back to the keto community. We want to give giveaways and we want it to work. So I'm I think the stop. best way, we're not gonna stop. Whoever you are, we're not stopping, but do we're, not. We're just gonna do it differently. Do way. not, if you see a comment and it says you've won a free gift, and it's got a telephone number and it's got emojis of boxes or whatever it is, that's not us. And if you don't watch the videos the next day, you know, if you play every single day, because every single day you have another chance to be a winner until we end this giveaway. So it's hashtag chow, all one word, hashtag then chow, all one word, if you're part of our Loving It on Keto um, with Wendy fans, uh, we go and pick from that. So we'll have our Facebook group winner and we're gonna pick a couple of winners every day. I'm not saying how many, but we're picking a couple every day. And then the next video, so this video today, somewhere in it's gonna show the winners, you guys. Yeah. So that is where <laughs> we're gonna post it because that way we know we can't be hacked with our actual video because you're in our video we've 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 taken the pictures we've done our due diligence we've put it up here for everybody and that's the best and easiest way for us to do it and i apologize from the bottom of my heart for this to happen to you guys anyway 
Enough with the house cleaning. I am not feeling good. I feel like this has gone into my chest. I called the doctor, went last night and got a chest x-ray. I still sound nasally, it's in my throat, and I am hitting walls of fatigue still. Doctor did not want to pres prescribe anything until he gets this chest x-ray back. I go along fine, I'm happy, it's perfect, and then boom, that fatigue hits. And then I'll do something and then all of a sudden I have lever labored breathing. Um, so how was your breathing this morning? Huh? Anyways. I'm very labored this morning, and I sound to me. I don't know if I sound. Yeah, crusty. you're a little raspy. Um, my eyes were swollen this morning. We are taking Benadryl every night, and um, I was on a huge project yesterday and did not drink water. And you guys have to be drinking your fluids, especially with this. It makes you thirsty. I don't know why, and it just seems like you hold the water and. Um, Sorry, had to swallow. Um, so, um, yeah, there's that. Anyway, you guys, we were B, 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 and E yesterday. We stuck to our plan, and I want to share what we had. I just kind of combined it. I had three slices of my B, 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 E bread during the day. I had three slices of bacon total. I had four ounces of liverwurst. I had four eggs and a tablespoon of butter. I had collagen and a tablespoon of mustard on my liverwurst sandwich. Yes, I did. I had a total of 13 carbs, 87 fat, 92 grams of protein, and 1,246 calories. Harry had a total of two slices of the BBBE bread. He had five ounces hamburger patty, which was the 90-10. He had a 12-ounce lean uh, chuck steak. He had a tablespoon of mustard and three slices of bacon. He had a total of seven carbs. Fat was 72 grams, protein was 136 grams, and he had a total of 1,346 calories yesterday. Let me put this back here. I had a two pound weight gain. Uh, my back hurt me last night. It was just killing me last night. Um, I took an naproxen. I was stressed yesterday. I had to rush to the doctor, grab my slip, go get the chest x-rays, then very stressed with everything that happened. I got to bed late. Harry got to bed very late. We were just scrambling like crazy, you guys. So I think that's a huge factor. Harry is uh, the same, 174.4. He took naproxen. He had a headache. And he also took the Benadryl as well. Um... I refilled. I've got to go though because it's 6.38. I already did um, our morning elixir, which is 22 ounces of water and ice. I do 10 drops of Daily Minerals by Keto Chow. I put 10 magnesium drops in, one drop of iodine. I put a small scoop of MSM Pure Coarse Flakes, and we each have one scoop each of the Realite Immunity. I have the Pineapple Orange. That's a new container that was a gift and uh, by Anonymous. And I have a Blackberry Realite Immunity in there. I've got Harry's Vitamins all repacked. And I'm going to put his vitamins where he won't forget, hopefully, to take them. So I'm going to set them right here. Right here by his phone and his computer glasses. But you guys, I need to go to work now. And ah, congratulations to all the winners. I am so excited. What we're going to do is we're going to do the winners and then we're going to at the end of the week we're going to put pack them all up and take them and mail them out to you guys so we'll let you know when we've done our first mailing so that you guys can expect them but congratulations everyone anyway i've got to get to work now goodbye
Well, you guys, I got myself a cup of coffee. I put a scoop of collagen in it, and I am going to take all of my vitamins. Yes, I have a plethora of vitamins. I'm taking my Tuesday vitamins. Anyway, you guys, it looks like it may rain today. Well, at least the cloud is the clouds. The sky is all dark and cloudy. So if we get wind, then it'll blow the clouds away. But we could get some rain today, which would be nice. We need some rain. Anyway, you guys, I hope everybody's having a great day. I need to get started, but I want to taste my coffee. Mm, I'm starting to be able to smell better. I can smell the cinnamon a little bit. Taste is about 80% and I haven't, I don't have a good taster anyway, but at least it tastes like coffee. I can smell a little bit of the cinnamon. Maybe my voice is hoarse, more hoarse and I'm more nasal because of the cloud. You know, I think the barometric pressure has a lot to do with um, upper respiratory issues that people have, you know, including just a regular old cold or sinus. So. And I, and I suffer from sinus, is sinusitis a lot, so I'm just waiting to hear back from the doctor and I'll let everybody know as we go along. But anyway, you guys, I need to get my day started. I've got a lot of emails to go through, so I will talk to everybody in the next segment. Well, you guys, I got myself a cup of coffee. I put a scoop of collagen in it and I am going to take all of my vitamins. Yes, I have a plethora of vitamins taking my Tuesday vitamins. Anyway, you guys, it looks like it may rain today. Well, at least the cloud is, the clouds, the sky is all dark and cloudy. So if we get wind, then it'll blow the clouds away, but we could get some rain today, which would be nice. We need some rain. Anyway, you guys, I hope everybody's having a great day. I need to get started, but I want to taste my coffee. Mm, I'm starting to be able to smell better. I can smell the cinnamon a little bit. Taste is about 80% and I haven't, I don't have a good taster anyway, but at least it tastes like coffee. I can smell a little bit of the cinnamon. Maybe my voice is hoarse, more hoarse and I'm more nasal because of the cloud. You know, I think the barometric pressure has a lot to do with um, upper respiratory issues that people have, you know, including just a regular old cold or sinus. So. And I, and I suffer from sinus, is sinusitis a lot, so I'm just waiting to hear back from the doctor and I'll let everybody know as we go along. But anyway, you guys, I need to get my day started. I've got a lot of emails to go through, so I will talk to everybody in the next segment. So, good morning, everybody. Uh, yeah, not too bright out today. Looks like we might have a rainstorm, but who knows. Anyways, I'm going to get my coffee. Set it up last night. I like to put my cream in. My uh, This is if I'm doing instant, okay? Put my cream in and uh, go ahead and put my coffee grinds in here. And I put, uh, if I'm going to have a sweetener, I'll put sweetener in here also. Um, so it's cold. <laughs> this baby's cold. So I make really hot water to go into it and it compensates and it just uh, warms it up like in about oh, 20 seconds this thing is gets hot. Um, and I like to do that because I have found that if you put if you put the, the, the decaf, I mean not decaf, if you put the instant coffee, this is regular coffee I got here, Folgers by the way, um, if you put the instant coffee into a cold medium, um, you can do it even when you're just making a coffee the first time. You, I, you can put you know your cream in first, make sure it's cold. Put your um, instant coffee inside of that and let it sit for about 30 seconds or so before you pour the water in. It changes the taste. That actually makes a more mellower taste of coffee. If you like a mellow taste of coffee, sometimes I like it mellow. Sometimes I like it really dark and really heavy. You know, it just depends on how I'm feeling out there. So you know, and that's why I'll, what I'll what I'll do is I'll make one of these at night, and if I want it, it's there, right? So what I'm going to do is I got to pour my water into this thing. So you know, um, kind of like have you come over this way a little bit. 
There you go. And I'm gonna pour my water into this. That's my hot water. Goes right into this cup. And I don't have to do anything else because, well, it's already there. All the thing I have to do, stir it up. If you've never done it, I suggest you give it a try. Just try it out and see if you really like it because uh, I really, really like the way it does. Now, this cup is already hot, man. I mean, it went from, what, about 40, maybe 41 degrees in the, in the regular refrigerator side to over 100 something really quick. Oh, yeah, I love that. You can really tell if you don't, if you uh, make it without any sweetener and stuff like that, you'll really, you'll probably see a big difference. But it seems to work. Anyways, you guys enjoy your cup of coffee. I gotta go do some more cleanup from our little friend that decided to pay everybody a visit and send them all a, a comment. I'm trying to get with YouTube right now. Anyways, you guys have a great morning, and I'm going to enjoy my cup of coffee while I fight the beast. Talk to you guys later. Hey, everybody. I am home from work at lunchtime because I had a talk with my boss and um, told him that I'm just having this fatigue issue, and could I please work from home the rest of the week? He knows that I went and got an x-ray um, for my chest. Um, on the way home for to work the rest of the way home from work doctor called my chest x-ray is clear and they also check you for valley they looked for valley fever um, there's no signs of it and I'm not running any kind of a fever today so that's good he is ordering a bunch of tests for me to take blood work wise just to ensure that nothing else is going on and she said the same thing that some of you said, that there is a long-term COVID syndrome that some people are having and it just takes, everybody's body is different. And he does not feel that I need any antibiotics at this time. So we're gonna go with the blood workup and if anything changes to let them know as quickly as possible. Um, so that's where I'm at. Some days I feel really good. I feel really good in the morning yesterday. Then boom, I hit a wall. And I said, it's not like I want to go to sleep. It's not like I'm tired and need to sleep. It's like I'm exhausted and I need to sit down right here on the floor because I don't think I can move an another step. It's like I'm moving through deep water and trying to walk at the same time when that happens. So please let me know if you guys are experiencing this as well. If you guys had the big C, if you guys had the zombie apocalypse lockdown virus, if anybody has had that. But anyway, you guys, I batch cooked um, boneless skinless chicken breasts enough that Harry and I could have some. Today, I took mine to work and I already measured mine. I have eight ounces here and I'm gonna put mine in on my plate, I used uh, Redmond's organic seasoned salt on them and pepper. And I'm gonna give Harry some as well. And then we're just gonna heat it up and that's gonna be our, our lunch. So let me see, zero it out. You just do the reverse way. How are you feeling right now? Huh? I'm tired. Not tired. I'm fatigued. I'm not sleepy. I'm tired. Ten for you, dear. Okay. So let me get these. This is what we're having for lunch, guys. We're having skinless air fried chicken thighs for lunch. Yes, we are. And we're dipping them in horseradish mustard. Yes, we are. You guys, this is my mom, Joyce. Joyce, hi. say hi to everybody. Hello. My mom is a knitter, a crocheter, excuse me. She has been crocheting 
thousands of hats. My father, um, when he had his cancer treatments back in 2008, Eight. she would sit with him and she would knit hats and she started sending the hats um, to all the different cancer centers, the hospitals, and now mm -hmm. she's doing St. Jude's Children's Hospital. She's done baby hats, newborn hats. Mm -hmm. There are hats all over that have her signature on them, but she has been knitting the, uh, excuse me, I keep using the word knitting, she crochets. Right. So here's some of the cute things she's been doing and she wanted to share with everybody. So yeah. go ahead and share. Well, these animals I make for the children's hospital and I've taken three or four in. This is a little mouse. See him, he's got a tail. <laughs> he's cute. Yeah, he's got, he's got a little feet. Around. Look at, look, he's got little toes. Yeah. Little hands. And fingers. She did a beautiful giraffe, which my daughter Felicia grabbed and took to her um, friend who collects, daughter collects giraffes. What is this? This is an owl. <laughs> See, he's got little feet and wings. He's cute. Show the back, because they're just so cute. And then she's working on a bunny rabbit. Yeah, I haven't, he's got legs and feet I have to make. I haven't done his legs or his feet yet. That's cool. Isn't it? She's made hats that are pigs with little curly tails. She's made all kinds of darling hats and things. And she sits at home and she crochets, and that's something she really enjoys. And then she donates them. We have uh, St. Jude's Children Hospital right here in downtown Phoenix. So. That's not the only hospital right. I give to. I've got four different large hospitals for grown ups, and then two children's hospitals and I have taken some to the children's hospital in Mesa. Here they weren't ready for them yet because of the they haven't taken any kind of donations but when I get the bunny rabbit finished I'll see if they want these three toys and then I'll make some more. Yep. So anyway, you guys, we just wanted to share with everybody. Anyway, mom's gonna come in and sit down and I've got our coffee already. So we'll see everybody in the next segment. Oh, and they're all free. Yes, they are. They absolutely yeah. are. I buy the yarn, I ship them. Speaking they... of yarn, if any of you have old yarn laying around and you guys don't have anything to do with it, you started a project, you're not gonna finish it. You are welcome to send it our way and mom will put it to good use and donate what she makes. So that's just something, it's up to you. You know, she, she gets donated yarn all the time from different people, I used, used to, to but yeah, now it's going dry. So she's going out and buying her own yarn and she's sending stuff to Washington State, to Issaquah. She's, she's sending them to several of the different hospitals. Anyway, you guys just wanted to share that with everybody. Hey everyone, it's time for the Keto Child Giveaway winners today. Woo! Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Remember, there's two ways to enter. If you belong to our Facebook group, Loving It on Keto with Wendy fans, go there and leave a comment. Tell us how your day is going, what you cook today. Hashtag chow. Don't comment to a comment, leave a comment. We are going through everything, but it's easier if you leave a comment. Trust me, it's easy. Just go there and enter, and then watch this video today. Go down in the comments and leave hashtag chow, hashtag chow. Not for tomorrow. In this video, because we'll be drawing tomorrow for this video's comments. Yes, indeed. But you guys, the winner of the Facebook group Loving It on Keto is Debbie Oliver. Woo! Debbie! Man, that bread looks delicious, Debbie. Great job. And now the first winner for the comments on in YouTube. our video YouTube. on YouTube is J Perdomo, G Perdomo, G P E R D O M O 426. Woo! Congratulations. Okay, you guys, number two. Check this out for YouTube. It's Christy Davis. Woo! Christy. K-R-I-S-T-I -I Davis. I wonder if you're the Christy Davis I'm thinking about. Congratulations, Christy. And you guys, we picked three winners on our video on YouTube today. So the third winner is Derek Cano in Hawaii. Woo! You won, 
Derek. That is awesome. So now this is what you guys need to do. Always come to the video to see if you've won. Because of what happened, we want to make sure you actually are the winner. So we're doing it this way so that it's, you know, it's legitimate. Get to me tomorrow with your email. I need your... Honey, you got to send it to you by your email address. I need you to send it to the email address, lovingitonketo at gmail.com. Yeah, don't leave a comment. Don't leave a comment. Send me, send me this information via email. I need your full name, your mailing address, and I need a telephone number because I need to put that in for postal purposes to get it to where it needs to go. So don't forget, don't leave that information in the comment ever. You don't mm -hmm. want that information. You want to email it to me at lovingitonketo at gmail.com. Anyway, woo, congratulations yeah, woo, 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 woo. everybody. Woo. Really excited. Now, we don't know how many people we're going to pick each day. So every day, go in, leave a comment, and hashtag chow in the video. And if you belong to Facebook, go to our Facebook, Loving It on Keto with Wendy Fans, and join. It's free to you. Yeah, Please. you can do it in both places. Yes, it gives you two chances to win. Now, do not email me and give me a hashtag chow. A few people have. We are not taking any winners from our email at all. You have to watch the video. You watch this video today. At the end of the day, we go through, we pull winners, we post it on tomorrow's video. So come back and watch and play every single day. Now, once you've won, please don't you know play anymore because you will you will you won and there's one chance of winning you need to live in the united states of america and all you need to do is do hashtag chow and you too can win i want to remind everybody that we are doing a giveaway and all you need to do to enter to win is you need to live in the united states you need to put hashtag chow harry's going to put that right here down in the comments below on this video if you are also a member of our facebook group loving it on keto with wendy fans you can also put hashtag chow in your comments there as well there's two ways to win one is on facebook and one is on today's video now later in the video we will be announcing the winners for today, the Facebook winners as well as our video comment winners. Now, we were hacked, we were spammed, we sent out a video, so we've decided to make sure that everybody knows they've won. We are putting the daily winners on our actual video oh so you guys can see that. We are not going to be responding to your comments because there is a spammer out there sending out spam comments with our logo um, saying you've won a free gift, call this number, and we're working with YouTube to rectify that. But if you guys got that, we apologize from the bottom of our heart. Last night, we put up a warning message from Harry and Wendy that tells you all about it, shows you one of the comments, and evidently this is something that happens when people have giveaways on YouTube. So we're working really closely with them, but the best and easiest way to do it to make sure you win is come back to our video every single day. Once you see your name up in lights, up on the video, up on the screen, please email us at lovingitonketo at gmail.com and tell us what your name is, your YouTube handle is, how you make your comments as, and then give us your full name, your address, and your telephone number, and we will get back to you. But send that to lovingitonketo at gmail.com. You have to enter in the comments on the video or up on the Facebook with Wendy fans. Please do not email me a hashtag chow. Those do not count. That is not part of the contest. You have to put a comment in today's video. We'll draw tonight late and we'll post those winners tomorrow on the video. 
So every day when you guys come to our video, somewhere in the video will be the winners. And I hope it's you. Anyway, you guys, um, I am home working from home the rest of this week. Um, today is a lean meat day, so I made uh, chicken breasts. We have some lean hamburger, it's 90-10, and Harry and I are gonna split the hamburger with mustard <laughs> yep. and the rest of the chicken. We're gonna put it in two bowls and we're gonna heat them up, and that is gonna be our dinner. I'm gonna weigh that up, measure it. That's why we buy the big jars, you guys. Harry's mustard, yes, mustard, mustard. We've added it to the yeah, list. Yeah, it's in writing now. We have, it's in writing so Harry knows, so the whole world knows we have mustard. Anyway, you guys, mom is coming over later tonight. We may or may not have keto chow ice cream. If we do, we will use a limited amount of butter in it and we will use water for our liquid. And I will share that on what we ate yesterday, tomorrow and let you guys know what we had to eat for sure or not. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing a great day. Let's go ahead and close out today. And you guys, tomorrow is a regular BBBE day. Beef, bacon, butter, eggs day. You can add keto cho if you want to. You can use resistance or lift some weights. Please remember, go down here to the notes because it tells you what you can eat, what kind of animals you can have, what kind of meat you can eat, um, what the lean meats day are, what you can drink, and the fats you can include, including mustard. And if you guys go to our Loving and on Keto website link, Harry has this whole challenge posted we have it uploaded and pinned to the top of our facebook group if you still can't find it you need a copy please email me and i will be happy to send you this challenge yes indeed anyway you guys please remember to like subscribe ring the little bell give us a thumbs up we'll see you right here tomorrow sally saying goodbye say goodbye good oh, girl she did it Good girl! Yes, indeed. <laughs> Mommy didn't throw that very well.